This is lesson four, visual line of sight, maximum speed and altitude for drones. In this lesson, we'll talk about the visual line of sight operation, maximum upgrade speed and altitude for drones, and visibility and cloud clearance. And we'll also finish up with a recap. Let's get started. Visual line of sight. Visual line of sight pretty much means keeping your drone in sight, no matter where you are. Imagine you're in a park, and you're flying around, there's a lot of different obstacles, a lot of other people that may be trying to enjoy their time. You just have to be considerate of flying your drone, whether it's trees, light poles, dogs, birds, all different types of obstacles that can cause collisions or incidents. So just be aware when you're flying your drone, you keep an eye on your drone at all times. Most of us, we may get caught up looking down at our screen and not really paying attention to our surroundings. Speed. We're going to talk about the maximum speed of flying your drone. Ready and steady is a good saying to keep your drone at a steady pace, not too fast, not too slow, but it depends on the obstacle. The maximum ground speed for drones, make sure you pay attention to this one, is 100 miles an hour, 87 knots. That's a lot of speed that you'll be flying, so you may be able to correct any movements with your drone but the higher you speak the less likely you're able to control it so make sure you fly at a different speed to make sure you're staying safe the maximum altitude so this is a tricky one most the maximum altitude you can fly your drone legally is 400 feet but that depends on the obstacles in the way it depends on the terrain but the most important guideline is to remember Stay under 400 feet above ground level. What is above ground level? It depends on your terrain. You can be in a mountainous terrain. As long as you stay above 400 feet from your takeoff point, here's a reference that you can do. Uh, watch your height. Doesn't matter you can, if you can go up to 400 feet, there may be a lot of other obstacles in your way you have to navigate. But the key takeaway of this slide is the maximum altitude usually is below 400 feet. Always check your local regulations to make sure you save an altitude. Visibility. It may be a sunny day. It may be a foggy day. Uh, so visibility plays a big factor in drone operation. Ensure that you know the weather and the time of day that you plan to fly. Whether it's in the morning, depending on your location, there may be fog. Weather changes fast. Things change in you know, the blink of an eye. So just be prepared. The key takeaway from this one is the minimum visibility is three statue miles. Remember that for the part 107 test. Cloud clearance. Why do I need to know about clouds? Clouds make a big difference because fog, depending on terrain, be thick and cause obstacles and distractions. Make sure that your drone stays below the clouds. Don't fly into the clouds, uh, depending on what type of day in your location. It is a key takeaway to, for areas you fly in low aircraft, that could be helicopters or any other type of other air aircraft in your area. Key takeaway from this is make sure you fly below 500 feet with your drones, below the clouds, and it's less than 2,000 feet horizontally from the closest group of clouds in the sky. So as you see the reference of the videos that you see in the clip in San Francisco or if you live in California, you may encounter thick weather like that. But other than that, just pay attention to cloud clearance. Weather awareness. When we're talking about clouds, also you need to be kind of like a weatherman to know about strong winds, what the weather's going to be like for today with the forecast, thunderstorms and lightning. When you're flying a drone, you have to be prepared to fly on the ground as much as the airport pilots that fly commercially. So be aware of weather awareness. Other than that, let's do a quick recap of what we covered today. Plan your drone flights with visibility and weather conditions in mind. Stay under 400 feet above ground level for your drone. The maximum ground speed is 100 miles an hour. Or 87 knots. Key part on the part 105 test. Make sure you remember that. 
Also, maintain min minimum visibility of three statue miles. Remember that for the Part 107 test. Fly 500 feet below the clouds. Remember that for the Part 107 test. And also, stay flexible and adapt your flight plans according to ensure safe and fast for drone operation. Be safe. Oh, yeah, that's a lesson wrap of, of lesson four. Congratulations on your drone journey. Don't hesitate, hesitate to reach out. Uh, I really thank you for your time. If you made it this far, continue to watch on, and I'll give you all the tips and tricks that you need to be successful drone pilot. And I thank you, and see you in the next lesson.